Hello everyone, welcome welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting a brand new island and this is going to be our winter Christmas island that we're going to be doing this year. Yeah, of course we are. It's this year because it's this year. <laughs> anyway, here we are at the beginning. I always like to bring you along at the beginning now and we're going to be doing a minimalistic Christmas winter island for this one and I'm excited. Sometimes I do feel like I do too much on my island and I just want to bring it back chill it out a little bit. So here we are with Timmy and Tommy. While we're here though, let me know if you started your winter Christmas island yet. I've just finished my Halloween island. So we just finished Litwick. I like to name my Halloween islands after ghost Pokemon. Litwick was this year. We've already done Pumpkaboo and Phantom. So who knows what next year's gonna be. I hope I spelt my name correct. I didn't really check. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a minimalistic winter Christmas island. I had a few ideas in mind for like other little bits that I wanted to do but I think I know what I want to do now I'm ready I'm ready to start this island and yeah enjoy it last year I did a advent calendar so if you want to see something that's like a whole series all the way through I did 24 builds in 24 days on my Christmas island last year called snow bean was it called snow bean chili bean it was called chili bean yeah we did chili bean and it was so fun but so chaotic and I don't plan to do the same thing this year because it was just it was just so much. I think I'm gonna give myself little pink cheeks so they look like they're you know pinched by the snow because it's so cold because we are gonna have this set in snow of course. So there's my little character we gotta go ahead and skip through this. It's kind of nice to restart your island sometimes. I do not recommend it though if you don't have access to treasure islands or if you're not willing to sit through the long process of getting all your stuff back because it is a lot it is so much to do and you just don't realize but if obviously you want to do that then go for it now we've got to choose our map i'm hoping for something nice i just want a nice looking map one that goes yeah i like that see that's nice i like this one this one's very nice i really like this one not too keen on this one this one's quite nice too I, this one's calling to me this one's like screaming out to be built on so I'm gonna go for this one. Wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I must ask one final question. If you could bring one thing with you to the deserted island, this doesn't really matter, does it? This selection doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for food. <laughs> I'm gonna go for food, how interesting. Look at that, we're ready to go. I hope we get a blue airport. A blue airport would be lovely. I'm not bothered about the starters because we're gonna be moving them out anyway. Unless I really like them and they're perfect for the island. Otherwise, I'm not fussed. Oh, we've got apples as our fruit. Again, not too worried because I'll be getting rid of the fruit trees probably. I have set my game for December 1st. Uh, we will be getting to the snow soon, but I want to start in the grass. Oh, it's an orange airport. Oh no, I don't want orange. But I really like my map. That's the problem. The villagers are cute too. We got Rene and Sly and I love Sly. Rene doesn't bother me too much. Oh, but this is so cute. Oh no, what's a girl to do? I love the island layout, but the airport bugs me. But then I'm like, am I too fussed about the airport? Honestly, what flowers do we have? We have mums as well. We have apples, which I love. And I really like the layout. So you know what? Airport doesn't phase me. Nope, doesn't phase me at all. Let's just get on with it. Let's talk. Hello, Tom. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. He's going to do his little talking. I'm sure we've all read through this multiple times, so I'm just going to skip through it. All right, we've got to get a tent from Tommy. So Tommy's going to give me my tent. We're just going to place myself on the beach like usual. By the way, I'm not going to have any goals for this island other than keep it minimalistic. Normally I'm like, I want to do the houses, I want to do the beaches, and sometimes it gets to it, and like my last island, which is slightly different because I did run out of time to get it finished for Halloween, I didn't do the beaches or my house or the houses, so I didn't do them, and so I'm not going to make any promises this time. All right, my house is going to sit right here, this is the spot, perfect, right by the airport. Yay, we did it. Right, let's go talk to the other villagers, so... Sly was just up here, wasn't he? Yeah, here he is. Sly, I will choose you to live on the beach. I'll find you a spot. By the way, give me a Sly rating out of 10 and then also rate Rene out of 10. How many beans out of 10? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Right, you can come live over here. There is space. I think your house. Oh, no, it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit there, let's be honest. It will fit here though, next to mine. 
Right, here we go. Two down, one to go. I'm feeling sleepy today. I might even need to go make another coffee. <laughs> it's not early. It's like midday, but I'm feeling like I need a coffee. Where is this rhino? Where is she? She can't have gone far. You can only go over this side. Oh, there she is. Hello. Um, I'm going to find you a spot. Yes. I'll find you a spot. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put you on the beach. So... You can just live right here. Okay, so I didn't want to start my island adventure in the snow because I don't want to get sick of the snow. Not that I'll get sick of the snow, but I might do. <laughs> I surprisingly didn't get sick of the snow when I did this island. Well, not this one, but when I did the winter island last year, I didn't get sick of the snow, which was really surprising. I thought I might have because obviously I did it in 24 days and it was a lot. The 25th day was the island tour. It was fun, like I said, but not again. <laughs> Not, not again. Okay, so he wants us to do a little task. Right, so he wants me to get some sticks and also the fruit. We're just going to go for it because we know what we need to get. We're pre-prepared. We love being prepared here. Right, so we're going to have the six fruit. We just need some more sticks. How many do I have so far? I have three. So four, five, six. There's number seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hello, Tom. We have sticks. They're actually called tree branches, but I always seem to call them sticks and I don't know why. Hey, we're way ahead of you. We've already got the apples. He's like, I need six apples. All these things that look like apples, but must be apples. Here they are. They're apples. Right now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festives. Let's go. I gotta name my island. I was thinking about this for the longest time. So I did have a few names in mind that I wanted to use. And I think I've settled on one. It's kind of one you've heard before, but I really like it. So I'm going to go with it. I did have like Star Frost in mind or Pine Glow was kind of cute. But do you know what? I'm going to go with Nutmeg. It is a spice and it's perfect. Nutmeg. Let's see what these two come up with. Awesome Beach and Swalville. So predictable. <laughs> It's the same stuff each time. But they're all going to choose mine because let's be honest. I suggested Nutmeg. Thank you. Thank you for loving my name. Everyone clapped. Nutmeg it is. Absolutely. We love the Jock Villagers really. Do you know what? I'm going to have a Jock on this island. You're all probably going to guess who it is. And no, it's not Boots. <laughs> it's not my dear favorite Boots. Could you please say a word? Uh, howdy. <laughs> howdy, howdy. So we settled on a name. We have... It has been a long day. We're going to do a toast and then we're going to get some shut eye. Cheers to nutmeg. Cheers. Now let's go get some sleep. Give me my cot. Is it, is it a campsite cot? I can't remember what it's called. Having a good time. Yes, yes. Yes, I am. We'll keep the fire burning. Yeah, I'm going to go sleep. Sleep till the next day. Wait for you to be outside my tent. Waiting to give me a bill. All right, let's go. Bedtime it is. Oh yeah, my house is this way. Or my tent, rather. We don't have a house yet. <laughs> we can't afford that. Here we go. Alright, this box. We've got a lovely radio. A lamp. Let's pop in our camping cot. I'm going to put the light on. Make it a little bit cosier in here. And the radio. Right, to bed we go. Rest my head for a little while. Yep, rest. And we're going to end up sleeping about a dog we don't know. Well, yep, there's KK Slider. He's so famous. I hope in the next game there's someone else to compete with him or join him as a duo because I know Nintendo don't like the idea of you competing in Animal Crossing uh, but maybe if he had a duo that'd be so cool I would love that maybe it could be a cat okay yep Tom Nook's outside better get up let's go hello just give me the bill <laughs> I know why you're here. You're here to give me a phone which is great but also a bill. I know I slept so long we slept till the next day. Yep there's my phone. Right, got to check it's working, it's going to work. Right, you get all our apps loaded. Love it comes preloaded with apps. Although it wouldn't be really cool if we have an app store in the next game and we can download what apps we want, but you have to have a certain amount of, I don't know, a certain new currency and that's how you buy those apps. That'd be so fun. I guess you kind of do that now. You buy, obviously, the terraforming services and the waterscaping services and bits like that. So similar to that, but if they call them different apps... That'd be really funny. I don't know why. But yeah, like I said, let me know if you're starting your winter Christmas island now. Let me know. I'm curious. It's about that time of year we all start doing winter islands. 
Although some of us might be doing autumn islands. Autumn islands are pretty good. If you don't like working in the snow, autumn islands are perfect. There's my bill. We might as well just say okay and accept our fate because it's not going away until we pay it. Now that conversation is over, we're ready to go. We're ready to start our island of adventures. Island of adventures? <laughs> we're ready to start our island of adventure on Nutmeg. I think Nutmeg's a cute name. I've heard it before. I don't know whose island it was. And it obviously stuck in my brain because I went with Nutmeg for this island. I think it's cute. It's really hard to choose names now. I feel like most names have been done. You know, you've used them, they're done. You've either used them or your friends or people you know. Like I've been there, done that. So you just have to go with whatever. To be honest, I don't think the names matter anymore. Let's claim these Nook Miles because we're going to need them. We need 5,000 Nook Miles to get us started. It is a process. I know you can draw on the board. That gives you miles. Let's draw... A heart. Dumb. <laughs> that works. We're nearly at a thousand already. Go us. I know if I pick that picture up. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. If you pick it up, put it down ten times. You should get more nook miles. That ten? There it is. We knew. We just knew. It's only 300, but it takes us over the thousand mark. Right, and we go to see Tom. He's going to make us make a fishing rod, I think. You think at this point I'd know what I've got to do off by heart? I don't. <laughs> I always forget. Like, what part is next? I don't remember. He talks so much. Right, free DIY workshop. That's what we got to do. Hello. What would you like to talk to me about? More is workshop, please. DIY workshop, yes. Welcome to the DIY workshop where you're going to make fishing rods and nets. You've done this 10,000 times before and you should remember what you're doing, but you probably won't. Let's talk to you first before we leave. By the way, look at him and his little scarf. He looks so cute. I'll take a look. What are you selling? Nothing I can afford. I have zero bells. Amazing. Thank you. Let's go here to get this dialogue sorted too. It's a process going through all the dialogue bits. There's just so much in this game. Honestly, though, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a new Animal Crossing game. Also, let me know because... While I'm recording this, we've just had a announcement about the new, but well, it's not new, about Pocket Camp becoming a paid app. So it's becoming a paid app. They announced that a few months ago. I think it was a few months ago. And they've now released a trailer. So the game actually finishes services the end of November. And then the new game starts beginning of December. And I'm curious if you want to see some gameplay on that. I don't know if I want to start my save all over again. I haven't played Pocket Camp in so long. I didn't spend any real money on Pocket Camp. I always just played as the freebie stuff. So I'm like, do I just restart it? I'm honestly not too fast. I'm thinking about it. But let me know if you'd like to see some content on it because I'll try and figure out how I can record it, make some content. Maybe it's something like just a little playthrough. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about that. Oh, poopsies. Run. <laughs> Run. Why was the first one to have wasps in? Oh, that was a uh, typical, right? <laughs> we just want sticks. Please give us sticks. I am, by the way, going to be using treasure islands on this island. I know some people don't like treasure islands, but I do. And as someone who makes content on a game like this, I need the use of treasure islands to be able to do what I do. Hi, Tom Nook. I have your stuff. Let's make this rod. But yeah, let me know about the pocket camp. If you'd love to see a playthrough of that, more than happy to do it. I'm going to play it anyway. <laughs> oh, we've got something for our Nook phone. He's going to give us some more DIYs, right? All right, anyway, what are we doing now? We have to go back to talk to Tom Nook. I left. I left too quickly. Whoops. Hi, Tom. What next? Yes, yes, it's question. Right, he wants us to get creatures and bugs, so we have to get five. Oh, so I do need the net. I remember. I was like, I'm pretty sure I use a net. So I need to get bugs and fish, because we need to give them to Tom Nook so he can give them to Blathers. That means I need more sticks. So one, shake this one, and hope there's no bees. Or wasps, rather. There we go, four. So one, two, three, four. We already have one. Let's go back, make our net, and catch these fish and bugs. Ooh, there's a butterfly over there. Let's get that one. Oh, got it. That's one. I'm not into fishing. I'm really not. If I can catch just bugs, I will, but I doubt it. I don't think there is a lot of bugs in December. I could be wrong. I don't remember. I used to know this game off by heart, like the back of my hand, and now I feel like I don't. <laughs> I feel like there's so much I just get from Treasure Islands that I just don't focus on anything else anymore oh we nearly missed a fish 
We got him. There's another fish. Oh, there's a dragonfly as well. Well, I'm glad it's all different stuff at the moment because, you know, sometimes you fish the same thing. But I guess I got the other one in a pond. Oh no, where did the other dragonfly go? There it is. Get it. Got it. We need one more. One more creature. Anything swimming around? Anything here? There's one. It went the wrong way. Come back, fishy. Oh my gosh, I hate fishing. <laughs> Animal Crossing made me hate fishing in games. And Stardew. Stardew Valley's fishing is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so bad. I was too busy talking. Stardew Valley's fishing is the worst. That's my least favorite fishing in any game. I hate the minigame. I actually hate the minigame so much that I have one mod on my Stardew Valley and it is the fishing one to get rid of the game. And I have no regrets. No regrets whatsoever. I do not like fishing. Right, anyway, let's put this away. Some games nowadays though, I feel like the fishing is much easier because they know people don't like it. And I'm kind of thankful for that. Where's my resident services? I think it's over this way. Let's go handle this into Tom. Hello, Tom. We have the fish and the bugs for you. I found a creature. Believe it or not, we got five because we know exactly how many we needed. I do hate that everything is one by one in this game. Like, it could be so much quicker. I know it's not meant to be a fast-paced game, but please. He gave us some red pansy bags. I don't know what flowers I want to use yet on the island. I don't know if I want to go with just white. Just white flowers on the white snow and then have the items of little spots of colour because I think that will definitely make it look a little bit more minimalistic. I'm not going to do a mood board or anything and I'm going to do my codes like I did last time where when I find them, I'll use them because I don't know... Like, I, I seem to have gone off the idea of sitting down and searching for hours for a bunch of codes and then not using like half or a quarter of them because I just don't want to in the end. So I'm going to find my main code. So like my paths and like little bits of decoration thing that I feel like I'm going to use all the time. I want to find those and then anything like signs or simple panels, whatever, I'll just find when I need them and when I'm going to use them. I think that's easier. I think this is the last creature. I hope so because that's five. I did count five. Yep, we're phoning Blavers now. We're going to have Blavers on our island. I love Blavers. He's top tier NPC character in my eyes. I would love to have a museum Lego. I think they'll do it because they've just done uh, resident services. They've done Nook's Cranny. They've done Able Sisters, right? They haven't done the museum. Give me the museum with Blavers and Celeste minifigures for Lego. Although they've just done a Celeste set, right? Hmm. Maybe they'll do Blavers and somebody else. I don't know. Maybe Red. Oh, Red's boat would be really good. Look, Lego. There's so many potentials to Legos you could do for Animal Crossing. Give us them all. Give all of them to us. I've already planning on buying leaf i want the leaf lego set anyway blavers is done i think we can just time travel now go and get the gold tools from the treasure island and then we'll have 5,000 nook miles and then we can upgrade our house so let's go all right here we are back with tom nook this is our day two right so the airport is open so we can go to the treasure island and get our tools i'm loving the name nutmeg you know it's really growing on me it's very cute i think it will be perfect for our little our little winter island that we're doing. Right, what have we been given? Mum has given us... Ta -da -da -da, pears. We love pears. Also, going to drop these so they're growing. Do this one. Oh, we didn't put the museum down. Are you kidding me? It's there in my bag. <laughs> oh, no. Right, let's go put it over the other side. Because I clearly forgot. Oh, there's a bottle too. DIY bottle, although I don't need it. I think what I'll do with this series is normally what I like to do is try and get this to fit first. There we go, this is the spot. So yeah, normally I like to show you the first day, so the starting day, and then the next time you see me, most of the time I've already done all the rest and got to three stars because it's just easier to do it on my own, just sat somewhere. And I like to rush through very quickly. So I'm probably going to do the same again. I think this is what I'll do. So this will just be the first day. The next time you see this island, I'll probably be three stars. So yeah, what I might do instead of carrying on from this is you've seen how we begin the island. You see what it's going to be. I'll just do a little brief talking. So I'm planning on having, of course, winter villages. I do already have some in mind that I really love that I want to have. 
I would go for very much warm tones and also snowy looking villagers. So think Whitney. I'm thinking probably Fang. I don't know. We always have those. I might have them again. We'll see. I also want to have like Marshall, Eric, Rudy, that sort of thing. For the actual theme itself, the aim is to go for a minimalistic winter cottage English countryside inspired island. That is the goals right there. That's what I want to stick with. It will remain minimalistic and hopefully the little countryside vibes to it. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. So I hope you're all excited. But yeah, there is the first episode of my island nutmeg. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Like I said, we'll be back probably with an entrance build for the next video for this island. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. I hope you have the most wonderful of days. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.